A common method for the isolation of a pure culture from a mixture is by streaking plates. The inoculum is streaked over the agar surface to isolate the colonies on at least a portion of the plate. Ideal results require that only a small amount of inoculum be used and that the surface of the plate be free of droplets of condensed moisture. Unless well-isolated colonies are obtained, the plate is useless. Pure cultures can be obtained by picking well-isolated colonies and re-streaking these on a fresh auger plate. Biochemical tests are used to identify bacteria. These tests are only valid when performed on pure cultures. Let's look at the steps of our procedure. First, we are going to sterilize the loop in the flame and allow it to cool. Then, pick an isolated colony from the auger plate and spread it over our new auger plate in one of the quadrants only. Then, flame the loop and let it cool. The easiest way to make sure the flame has cooled enough is to gently touch it to the auger and make sure the auger does not melt. Now, turn the plate 90 degrees and lightly sweep the loop one or two times through the inoculated area. Then, streak into the next quadrant without overlapping previous streaks. This is going to cause a dilution. Flame and cool the loop again. Turn the plate another 90 degrees and lightly sweep into the third quadrant of the plate. Flame and cool the loop once again, and finally, streak the remainder of the plate. Now you are ready for incubation to allow your colonies to grow. Let's start our procedure. You see here that we have a Bunsen burner, an auger plate with nothing on it that has been marked into quadrants using a permanent marker. We have another auger plate that has colonies. This plate was made using a mixed culture, having more than one species of bacteria. However, isolated colonies should be growth originating from only one bacteria. Our objective is to choose bacteria from one of these pure colonies and create a pure culture using the streak plate method. Let's begin. This is our inoculation loop. First, we flame our loop. When you flame the loop, you want to make sure to pass it over the flame until the loop is glowing red. Now we can choose our colonies. We'll want to make sure to choose an isolated colony, one that looks nicely round, that's off by itself. You want to avoid areas that look like this or this. I think this looks like a nice colony. Now that I have picked my colony, I'm ready to streak the first quadrant of the plate. When streaking the first quadrant, you'll want to make sweeping motions going back and forth, but you'll want to make sure that you stay within that first quadrant. Now we're going to flame the loop once again. This gets rid of any residual bacteria on the loop. Now we're ready to streak our second quadrant. When streaking the second quadrant, we're going to want to drag a, a small amount of the inoculum into the new quadrant. I'm going to flame the loop once again. And repeat the procedure by dragging just a small amount of the inoculum into the third quadrant. I'm going to flame the loop once again. And streak our last quadrant, remembering to drag some of the previous quadrant into the new quadrant. Now we are going to place the auger plate into an incubator. The fourth quadrant is usually where you will find the isolated colonies. This is because with each successive quadrant, the inoculum was further diluted. For this laboratory activity, you will need to open up the PowerPoint provided. Step one. Draw how you would use the loop to streak quadrant one. In order to do this, go to insert, shapes, scribble. Good. 
Now we can go on to slide number two. Step two, draw how you would use the loop to streak quadrant two. Again, we'll go to insert, shapes, and scribble. Now remember, when going into quadrant two, we will first flame the loop, and then we'll need to drag a small amount of the inoculum from quadrant one into quadrant two. Moving on to slide three, step three, draw how you would use the loop to streak quadrant three. Go to insert, shapes, scribble. And don't forget to drag a small amount of the inoculum from quadrant number two into quadrant number three. Step four, draw how you would use the loop to streak quadrant four. Insert shapes, scribble, dragging a small amount from quadrant three into quadrant four. And don't forget that we would be flaming the loop in between each of these quadrants. For slide five, you will draw how you would expect your colonies to look after a time of incubation. Be sure to note where isolated colonies are most likely to be found. If for some reason you are unable to do the PowerPoint, a free download of PowerPoint along with Microsoft Office is available through the institution. You may also print out the slides and do the drawings by hand. You can then upload your pictures as part of your lab write-up. Be prepared to answer these following questions for your lab write-up. Thank you for watching.